Hey guys, it's Reed, and I realized I haven't made a tutorial for you guys in a while, so I'm going to do a tutorial on one of the invisible effects from AMP Episode 5. Okay, so it just started raining outside, so I'm just going to have to finish the tutorial in our basement. Alright, to start off, you first just need your, like, actor in the front to just kind of stand there and act like they don't know what's going on or whatever, so I'll just get a clip of that. Okay, so for this next part, you're going to want someone to sneak up behind the person. You can either mask out, like, over a black image, kind of a cutout of a human body and, like, even move your hands. Since they're very transparent, you're not going to really go into much detail. But uh, if you have a green screen, you can do that as well. Okay, so once you're done with that, just input your footage on your laptop. Okay, so what you want to do is, now that you're in your After Effects, um... Just go ahead and pull your footage down into a, a new composition. And let me just cut it real quick. I'm pretty sure towards the end I, uh, okay, this is where I start to look away. So just cut that. Okay, so now that that's cut, all you have to do is go up to, um, layer new and make a new adjustment layer and then and on top of that make layer new solid and just make it a black solid black is what you want so after that um, just go ahead and down to your adjustment layer and oh, wrong thing and click instead of none click alpha matte black solid one and then um, that way these little things will pop up and that way you know that it's it's on it then on your adjustment layer, actually, we'll go ahead and crop the black solid first, so go up to um, your little toolbar up here and do the pen tool, and then it really doesn't matter, but if you have a green screen, you'll have your moving thing, otherwise you can easily almost just animate it in this, like what I'm doing. Just, uh, this is the black solid layer that I'm on right now, even though you can't see it because it's turned off, but um... Just go ahead and crop around to make kind of like a human body type thing. Like I said, you can move it once you're done cropping. So once you've cropped it, go ahead and just move it. Or I'll move it away from my guy. Okay, so now go to your adjustment layer and type in, in the effects and presets, turbulent displace. And drag that onto your adjustment layer. See how it kind of bulged out like that? And then another good thing just to change it up, make it look all crazy is brightness and contrast. Put that on your adjustment layer as well. I recommend turning the brightness down a little bit and the contrast up just for more of a uh, difference in color. Let me just play. You can play around it. Uh, everyone has a different look to it. Then, uh, if you notice, it's kind of edgy around the person I just made, so you can go uh, click M for mask, uh, and then open up your mask feather, and that way you can, oh, don't click that, what am I doing? And then just uh, turn that up just a little bit, maybe like four or uh, five, wh whichever one. So now it's not as bad, there's more of a uh, blur. You can actually probably turn that up a little bit more. Here, hold on. Try like seven, that'll probably look good. Okay, so seven looks better. And I, you know, then again, you can also add more points. I kind of got lazy. So once you've done that, go back to your adjustment layer and the turbulent displace, you change the size, um, turn the size down for more of a ripply look. And then the amount can go up for more of a bulge. And the complexity will add more like like as you can see what it's doing, it just kind of adds more randomness to it. And then, hold on, I'm not satisfied with this, let me... I almost think, I yeah, I'm pretty sure an amp I made it brighter. Yeah, I think that's what it looks like an amp. Okay, so, now, um, it's pr that's pretty much it for getting... Oh my god, look what it does to my face. Uh, it'll add a really... Uh, distorted thing and if you want to make it look like he's creeping up you just take this black solid 
shrink it down or not that bad but about like right there maybe you can even give him arms and make his arms move around with animations uh, that's pretty much basics of After Effects um, just go down to position or actually it's mask path sorry where is actually you know p position might work let me just try that real quick um, select your little keyframe range and then you can make this yeah, it does work. Okay, so you can just make this bigger. And then if you want to make it look like he's going behind him, you can duplicate this layer right here and then just draw a mask around your arm. But I just won't go into that. I'll just kind of make it look like he's getting bigger. Because I'm just trying to keep this basic and fast so you guys don't have to watch a really long tutorial. Um, just render that out, pre-render that out real quick. And when that is done... I mean, that's really slow and creepy, it just doesn't look that good, but that's exactly how we did it, and uh, I'll show you the clip that we used in AMP after this. So uh, yeah, if there are any questions you have, I know I was very basic and didn't go into much detail, but um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I will be glad to respond. Hope you guys like this tutorial, I'm definitely going to be doing more tutorials, so please, um, please tell me what you want me to make. And uh, that's about it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching this video, and see you later.